Hello and welcome back to another in our series of short video tutorials on getting the best out of Corel's Video Studio Pro X3. Today I'd like to show you how to use the Smart Package Project Saving feature. Has this ever happened to you? Or maybe I should ask, how many times has this happened to you? Someone attempts to share a video project with you or you're assigned to work on a video project but that someone neglects to provide you with all the files? Or in your attempt to be as organized as possible, you move files into other folders knowing perfectly well that the PC doesn't like when you do that, and all the projects using those files now can't locate them? How much time have you wasted with these issues? Myself, a lot. This is why I want to show you how to use and convince you to use the Smart Package feature in Video Studio Pro as often as necessary. And since it's as easy as saving a regular project, why not use it? Let's take a look at the Smart Package. If you work a lot with multimedia, you know what fun keeping all your assets organized is. You might even use a separate application specifically for this purpose. Unfortunately, your photo or video editing application probably doesn't automatically keep track when assets are moved, resulting in this situation. Many of the assets are not only missing from my VSP file, but they're also missing from my library. Remember though, saving a video project is not like saving a movie such as an AVI, QuickTime, or MPEG. The VSP file is simply what is called an EDL or an edit decision list. It tells what files to play when, how, where, and for how long. Because it contains no content but just a list of to-dos, the file size is usually very small. In this case, it's less than 150K. Luckily though, Video Studio Pro has a smart relinking feature. You show it the way to one of the files with a broken link, and if all the others are in the same place, it will find the rest of them too. There you go. I found all the files for my project by finding just one, and now I'll do the same for the files in my library. And there we go. So, now that all my files are relinked, let me show you how easy it is to create a smart package. But first, since you had to relink your asset files again, your EDL has changed. So make sure you save your project file again. Now go to File, Smart Package. Choose or create a folder and location to put your file into. Name your folder that goes in that folder and give it a project name. Down here you can see how many files and the total file size your Smart Package is creating. Click OK. Let's now go to the Smart Package we've created. Holy cow! Look at all the files that were automatically saved. I would never have remembered to include all these files, would you? Don't worry though, these are just copies. Your original files are still in their original locations, even if they're in multiple folders. Well, there you go. Does it get any easier than that? And it's going to make your life a lot easier. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you in the next Corel Video Studio tutorial.